I'm your host, Josie Van Dyke, and I am sitting next to a Dancing with the Stars wag, everybody, Briley Armstrong. Hi, yeah. <laughs> I guess that's what you can call me. I don't really You're know. You're a wag. I guess so. Wag I guess girlfriend. so. It's never been done before in the Dancing with Stars space, so... It hasn't. I'm making history, I guess <laughs> you, you could say. You really are. You uh, really are. It's fun. How are you? I'm good. I'm you really good. You just came back from LA. You're like back and forth, yes, back and forth, back and forth. Yes, I came to Utah forth. for you, Josie. No. Sorry to interrupt, but I need to let you know about one of my favorite sponsors, Spearmint Love. Spearmint Love isn't just another baby boutique. It's a trusted name in the baby space. Known for its own Spearmint Love brand and huge selection of high quality baby essentials and holiday collections, aka um, Halloween's coming up. But they also have fast shipping from their Arizona headquarters. Spearmint Love delivers the best for your little ones. And like I said before, Halloween is coming up and the Spearmint Love Halloween shop is to die for from their aesthetic and high quality organic cotton waffle line to fun designs and super soft viscose made from bamboo line of zip rompers, hoodies, tutus, and two piece sets. There is a print and style for every little one matching prints and coordinating colors for siblings from size newborn to six years old. Whether you're dressing a little brother or a big sister, the Halloween collection truly has a style that will keep everybody looking festive. I as you know, love a theme. So having to get outfits for all three kids from one store is like heaven sent. There's so many cute and unique options for the baby's first Halloween. So obviously go ham, but it's just nice to have options for not just babies. So I can get something for Bentley, Brooks and Banks slay go to their website ordering coming home outfits from the hospital or a birth announcement photo outfit everything is so cute and so soft the prints are unique like i said and photogenic and the aesthetic is amazing so head on over to spearmintlove.com and use code weekly trash at checkout for 25 percent off your order that's spearmintlove.com code weekly trash for yes 25 percent off Have fun and go get yourself some Halloween goodies for those kiddos. And thanks, Spearmint Love, for sponsoring today's episode. I'm so flattered. I'm flattered I'm here. This is like my first time ever doing anything like this. Well, you came when Brandon was on. Yes. You sat in that corner. You were a cheerleader. Because I'm an OG trasher. So I said, Brandon. You literally are. You need to get on that podcast immediately. And you told him what was up. Oh, absolutely. Because I don't think this is Brandon's cup of tea at first. He was probably like, what? am I doing <laughs> he's like what is this pink wall like I don't What's belong it? here this ain't no. for me but then he had a great but time he's like, made for chatting he is a certified yapper you so. both are oh yeah well your guys' personalities are so great for each other Thank I'm you. obsessed with you guys I think thanks. everyone is <laughs> like you are TikTok's favorite Dancing with the Stars couple oh, thanks like, I'm like are, are we the only one but like <laughs> that is true like you're the only ones that are married yes well well no we- Jenna's married Yes, yeah, so Jen is married. Um, Daniela is married. Yes. But I think what makes our relationship kind of unique is I am the only wife that's like a normal person. Like normal. 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 Yeah. I'm from Utah, not a celebrity, not a dancer. And yeah. all the other ones are married to either another dancer on the show or a literal celebrity. So it's kind Which of normal. crazy. Which I yes. do want to ask you later on, like how mm-hmm. that is, it, if that's intimidating to yes. you at all and yeah, all we'll that. Get into all we need to it. dumpster deep dive it's definitely everything. definitely unique, yeah, experience. Everything. Yes. Um, but we have to start from the beginning, Riley. Kay. So um, where are you from? Okay. So <laughs> I always say that I'm from the sticks in Utah. Oh, okay. But my mom doesn't like that. So I got to I gotta explain. Okay. I'm from Salem. Do you know where Salem yes, is? Yes, yeah, okay. Salem, yeah. Could you point it out on a map? Isn't it past um, that one swing? The one? Oh, yes. Yeah. In, what, uh, the one in Spanish Fork Mona, or Mona? Mona. Okay. It's closer than Mona. So it's oh, not okay. as far. That's okay. why my mom's like, we don't live in the sticks. Okay, because Mona's in the sticks. That's when you start heading out to like the farmland. Like which Payson? We, Yes, but Payson even is kind of like the edge of it. And then the next town, you start getting more and more distance. You're going through southern Utah. So that's why my mom's like, we don't live in the sticks, which that's fair. But yeah, it's a small town, like small town, Phil. Everyone knows everybody, but I loved growing up there. Is your family still there? mm -hmm. Yeah, born and raised pretty much. I lived in Spanish Fork when I was younger, but Salem, Salem, Salem Salem. sounds like it belongs where witches live. What? like Salem Massachusetts yeah like listen is Salem Utah haunted like is there any witchcraft uh, going well, on I hope not we did call our, our high school uh Shady Hills 
Because oh, I went to Salem it. Hills. I don't know why we did Salem that. Hills. Like ninety percent of our high school is okay. Mormon. So. Salem Hills belongs on Vampire Diaries. Like that name, Salem yeah, Hills. Salem Hills. Like that is. And then the theme is black. Yeah. No, that's spooky. mascots are bats. Yeah. Spooky. Yeah, but it's the opposite, quite literally. Okay. Like I had the high school musical, like high school experience. Really. Everyone does a sport. Everyone's involved. It's like happy go lucky. I love Crazy. that. It was so fun. I loved it. Yeah. So um, how big is your family? Like how many siblings do you have? Yeah. So I have two brothers, okay. an older brother and a younger brother. So we're all really, really close. I'm really close with my parents. My older brother has two kids. I have a niece and a nephew and they're Cute. the best. I know. And they have a younger brother and he's 20. Okay. So, so you were the only girl in the home. Yeah. Not spoiled at all. Not, <laughs> not at all. Not the favorite at all. <laughs> no, not, not a, a daddy's chance. girl or a mommy's no. girl. Would you say that you were the favorite? Like, let's um, be real. I don't know. I don't think I'd say I was the favorite because there's only three of us. Yeah. And we, like, my older brother is four years ahead of me. And then there's six years, like, between me and my okay, younger okay. brother. So, like, we ha- we went through, like, phases because of we were busy at different yeah. times in life. But I'm definitely super close with my parents. Like, my mom, I called her my momager for the longest time. So, I was super really? busy growing yeah. up. And I needed, literally, my momager. So, she would help me sign up for classes She'd help me. I used to do pageants. She used to be like my coach, my interviewer. Like, really? Did yes. she do pageants? No. My mom is the opposite of okay. me. Okay. Yeah. So whenever I hear that, I always mm-hmm. wonder: is it the mom living through their child? My okay. I think that's a, the case for like a lot of yeah. people. I mean, I don't want to speak on behalf of that, but in my experience, not at all. Like my mom was a sports gal growing up. Yeah. Like she's my mom's taller than me. I'm five ten, and my mom is like. How tall is your dad? He's six foot. Okay. Yeah. So my mom's family is really, really tall. Both of my brothers are like six five. Okay. Yeah. They're gentle giants. Mm -hmm. So she was a sports girl. Yeah. So she was a sports girl. And so I remember when I was little, I really wanted to do dance. And my mom was like, girl, please. No. Girl, you're not. Yeah. She was like, I don't even know how to like put your hair in a braid. So no, we're not. We're not doing that. So we compromised and she put me in gymnastics. Oh, that's a good compromise. But then I broke my arm. And so then I was like, mom time time to do dance yeah and so then she finally cave put me in dance and I did that for a long time but she was she was all in there she was a stickler she was like she, I don't know if I want to do this but then when she, she did it she was in it oh she was in it and then after that she was like my biggest cheerleader came to everything loved it she loved being a dance mom but she wasn't I wouldn't say she was like a crazy dance mom like at all well because yeah. being a dance mom is a full-time job yes and you know it's crazy you're a full-time makeup artist a full-time hairstylist a full-time yes. bedazzler yes oh and my mom <laughs> is not that's not her for yeah, that's but she learned it she learned it yeah and she killed it yeah that's amazing yeah she's incredible so you yeah. did competitive dance then yes yeah so and I in s- high school too mm-hmm. yeah so I started when I was about seven and then it was competition dance so yeah. I did basically every style except for ballroom which is hilarious because yeah. of Brandon and then I didn't do tap either and I did that all the way until I was about 15 because my studio they kind of prepared you just to go on to high school like they didn't prepare you to go be professional and whatnot in comparison to like Brandon's studio like they trained them to go and get jobs and work and was your studio in Salem Uh uh-huh yeah like small town yeah yeah. yeah. and they were great and they have some really good dancers but for me I just knew we're going to high school and so I did cheer and then I did dance company and then after that, I actually danced for a season in college. Really? Mm-hmm. Which college? At SUU. Hated it. Oh, you did? <laughs> yes. Like, mm, only because for me. only because I'm from a small town and SUU is just like another, it just felt like an extension of high school. And yeah. so I was like, this is fun. I don't love dance enough anymore to like stay here for that. So I moved up north, went to UVU and the rest is history. And then I danced a little bit after that when I did pageants, but just like for fun. When did you get started in the pageants? So um, when I was really little, I did Little Miss Salem and it was just like a little podunk. Yeah, little country thing. And I won it. Again, my mom had no nothing. She was like, let's just do it for fun. I just saw him in the parade and I was like, mom. I got to do it. I got to do it. a crown. There, sparkles, a sash, a dress. Sign me up. Yeah. And so I won it. And then after that, I had seen like the Miss pageant. And I'm like, okay, when I'm older, I think that'd be fun. And then fast forward, I did it, ended up winning it. And then after that, you go to Miss Utah. So I just did that. And then I was done after that. So did you ever like want to win Miss Utah and go to Miss America and uh, all those things? Like yeah. were those things that you really wanted or you're just doing it for fun? 
Okay, I think at first it was just for fun because yeah. I, like I said, I had seen Miss Salem ever since I was a kid and I just thought it looked fun to be involved in my community. Like I yeah. said, everyone knows everyone. I had lots of friends that did it and I was like, I could do that. That seems like fun. Um, and then once I went to Miss Utah, I got a little bit of a taste of it and I'm like, this is amazing. It's so fun. I met some of my best friends at Miss Utah. My roommate from Miss Utah was a bridesmaid, bridesmaid at my wedding. And, really? Mm-hmm, and, and I feel like pageants don't get that stigma. Like it's no. usually really negative where it's like, oh, it's toxic. It's catty. It's, yes. So I'm glad that you had like this positive experience. Oh, it was amazing. I learned so much and it's a scholarship pageant too. And so for me, like my parents don't have a lot of money. Yeah. And so I knew I was going to have to apply for scholarships in any shape, way or form. I was going to have to do that. And so when I won Miss Salem and then went to Miss Utah, I got enough scholarship money that I was able to graduate debt free. So That's yes. Amazing. So whenever I see young girls, I'm like, you should do a pageant. I know what you think, but it's so fun. You'll make lifelong friends and free school. Yeah. And sparkles, dresses. But pageants are also expensive. How did your family mm-hmm. pay for the pageants? My mom helped. My mom helped a lot. I also worked at Epsilon Dresses too. Oh, so I remember I was in the that. Girls, Wait, at Charlie girls, Square? Um, before that or after that. Oh my gosh. They had moved locations. Okay. Yeah. I remember that was the place to get your prom dress. Oh, like if you were a rich girl, place. that's where you went. Listen, I wasn't a rich girl. I actually only started, I got my first um, dress from there when I was a senior in high school. And that is the dress I wore to Miss Salem. So it was like a double, yeah. double whammy. Like yes. I said, that's just kind of what you for did. One. Cause mm-hmm. they're expensive. Yeah. They can be expensive. Yeah. Oh my gosh. My friend in high school, she'd always go and get her dress there and we'd always like drool over it. Like, oh, can I, I wear know. that next year? No. Like, and then when I worked there, cause I worked there for a long time. Yeah. I remember these girls would come in for homecoming, yep. fall ball, harvest. And I don't know where these names came from, from for these right? dances, but they were getting Sherry Hills for everything. They were the it girls and I would just live through them. You're like, I want to be that one. Day. Yeah. But I always wonder like when my daughter's going to dances, if I would be down to spend a thousand grand. On right. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I would I don't be know. I think that. that the environment's a little bit different now. Yeah. I ha- obviously don't work there anymore, but I think things are a little bit more casual, which I'm like, oh, it's kind of sad. Because it was a vibe. It was a moment. Cherry yeah. Hill. It still is a moment. But yeah. It was like trying on wedding dresses, but you're in high school trying on prom yes. dresses. Yeah. They did the whole thing where you would have like a one on one yeah. appointment and say yes to the dress bada bing bada boom no literally yeah. alterations yeah, ex- yeah. like coming out there like because all my friends they like weren't allowed to wear dresses that were strapless so they if oh, they tried on a dress that was strapless mm-hmm. they would have to have you know Here's alterations the list of this is what we would yes. do oh i have the whole yes, thing memorized the whole still. thing yes so you were in it and you modeled too right yeah mm-hmm. so i started modeling like just kind of for fun because yeah. i worked at epsilon for a long time like yeah. all throughout college and I kind of just got into it from that. Because a lot of times when you worked at Epsilon, if you were cute, I mean, everyone was cute that worked right. there. But if you were standing around, they'd be like, hey, you want to put a dress on? And who was going to say no? And also, you're a pageant girl. You're tall. You're blonde. You're gorgeous. You're nice. I know. I was so awkward at put first. Put her in the photos. I was so awkward at first. I look back at those old pictures. I'm like, girl, <laughs> you need help. You, need- you learned, Plus, it though. was like the, the uh, age of like the MAC makeup that was like really oh, intense yeah. eyebrows, like Full beat oh, yeah. all the time, but I didn't Wing know how to liner. do it. Yeah. I wasn't good at it. So, but it was fun. And then after that is when I modeled at um, Altamoda. So that's where I got my wedding dress there. Did you? I love oh, that place. They're icons. Gorgeous. I icons. loved working there. Icons. I know. So when you were in high school, all these mm-hmm. pageants, would you say you were a popular girl? Because you're like the epitome um, of like the queen bee, blonde, yeah. blue eyed, <laughs> hot, really nice. pageant, Miss Salem, <laughs> no. like no were you queen bee no okay I think I was actually pretty shy growing really? up yeah like kind of afraid of my own shadow and I feel like dance really brought me out of that I learned a lot from it but I wouldn't say I was popular I would just say I was really involved because I had such a small school everyone knew everyone so it was like who's popular who wasn't popular yeah. we're all we've known each other since we came out the womb yeah. so yeah so it was you weren't like a mean queen bee or a nice queen I, well bee. I hope just, not just let me know you. in the comments I don't know oh, I'm sure I hope someone not. will someone's gonna be like oh, she was she the hated worst. Her. that's the thing once you like start to get a little fame or a little recognition people will yes. come out of the woodworks like this one time they looked, probably say they she, looked at me weird they probably like, say she kept to herself because she was scared of her own she shadow was scared of everything bit. yes so when do you feel like you kind of came out of that was it in oh, college that's a good maybe question. yeah I would say even like Miss Salem stuff really yeah. I mean you have to force yourself to like no go that's why I'm like there, you were you know? scared of things like well I, I don't know my mom she was obviously my biggest cheerleader and she would always say like you never know unless you try like you got to put yourself out there if you want to do it then you're 
gonna have to get over that yeah. fear. And so I think after doing it for a while, then I became more comfortable. And I think just with age, like just yeah. becoming into yourself, then you just feel more confident in every aspect of your life. So for sure. I agree wholeheartedly. Yeah. Um, okay. So you go to college. What'd you go to college for? Um, I went to college for communications okay. with an emphasis in PR, which is hilarious because I never thought I was going to actually work in it. I wanted to work in social media because yeah. that's kind of what I was doing at Altimoda or not Altimoda, Epsilon. I was doing social media, marketing, management. I loved small business, but they didn't have that degree yet. UV. Yeah. They didn't have social media. And so um, I just picked the next next best thing, which is PR. And now look at me. I use it all the time with no, Brandon. It's hilarious. All the time. It's funny how things just come circle. Everything's kind of meant to be, for I sure. Know. Did yeah. you date or have like a missionary in high school or anything oh, like that? No. No? No. You know what? It was not super common at my high school. Everyone kind of dated everyone because it was such a small yeah. town. Like when it was a dance, we all just kind of... Rotated. Sh- yeah, rotated. So yeah. no, never had a missionary, never had a serious boyfriend really. Ever. Yeah. Until never. Brandon. Really, Yeah. Really? I just stayed around and have had fun. And I wasn't even looking for a boyfriend when I met Brandon. Like, Really? Yes. I had just graduated uh, college and he came into my life. And I actually was like so proud of myself. I was like, okay, I'm going on dates. I'm like out of college. I have yeah. all this time. And then there he is. And I'm like, okay, I guess this is what we're doing now. So let's talk about that situation. Yes. Because when Brandon was on, we kind of talked about how you met, mm-hmm. but I want to hear it from your perspective. I know. I need to set the, the record straight So here. let's set the scene here. Yes. Who reached out to who first? How, mm-hmm. did, how did it come to be? Okay. So I don't really know how he found me. Neither one of us do, but this yeah. is my, this is my um, hypothesis. So we both had mutual, which is hilarious, but I feel like in Provo or um, Everyone had mutual at the time, yeah. even if you weren't dating. It was like it was like I a just, Facebook profile. Yes, no, it really was. And you would just leave your Instagram, yeah, and then people would like go right on job. over there. And I think that's how he found me, but I don't think he wants to admit that he just was on mutual. It, I know, but he was on mutual because he had just come back from LA and wanted to meet like a girl that was, and you know, same, same values, values from the same place. And he'd been in LA for a while and dated around, and it just wasn't working out. And so I think that's why. He hopped on on the app and he DM'd me after that. And okay. remind me what his DM said. Oh, it's hilarious. It's, he said, just verbatim, hey, how are you? Never okay, met him a day. killer. Right. I'm like, <laughs> uh, hello, who are you? And he was verified, which like yeah. at the time, no one was verified. No. You know, they didn't, you couldn't pay the $10. Right. To, to just put your driver's license in and get yes, it verified. Yes, right. And so I'm like, okay, is this even real? Like who... Who is this? I didn't watch the show yeah. at all. I grew up with it. Like my mom watched it and loved it growing up. But like Because being in the dance world, you had never crossed paths with him ever. No, never, never, never. And I think it's because he mainly did ballroom and I didn't. And we yeah. just were in a little bit different of circuits. Um, but I knew of Whitney and Lindsay, specifically Julianne Huff. Like yeah. she you was my girl. Look like her. Stop. Don't say that to me. Like That's you two nice could be say. related. You could be, you could be her sister. You know what? She's one of the nicest celebrities I've ever met. Really? I actually have never met a mean celebrity ever. Really? Ever, ever. And she's very, very kind. Yeah. So if I'm compared to her, I'll take it in any aspect. No, she's I, cool. I yeah. see that. I see That's it. That's nice. My head just grew like 800 sizes. As it should. As it should. <laughs> take You're it. Nice. Accept it. Because I see it. You, nice, you should, you. you should be the next host. You guys should host oh, my together. Gosh. Doppelgangers right next to each other. They'd be like, who's who? who One is who? 400 feet no. tall. <laughs> no, how tall is she? She's pretty she's short. She's pretty short. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how tall she is. You're like, um, she's this much, this height. Like, yeah. I actually know every, actually every restraining order because her. I'm obsessed with her. She it's actually hates fine. me. It's yeah. crazy. Mm-hmm. So he was, he was verified and you were like, yes. what Oh, and this? in his bio, it said like dancing with stars pro. And I was like, what is happening? Hello. And this was right after COVID times. Just things were weird. Yeah. Things were weird. So I screenshotted his profile, sent it on over to Lisa, my mom. And I'm like, who, who this? And yeah. she's like, oh, he's so cute. Like, you should go out with him. And I was like, okay, yeah. I, I would go out with pretty much anybody. Like, you got to yeah. give him a chance. He seemed cool. But I was like, I don't know. I just didn't know how to feel about him. Had you ever danced or have you, had you ever dated a dancer or a guy that was like in the dance world? I didn't know any guys that danced growing up. Because I feel like it's this common misconception that if they dance, they're gay. Right. No, it is. Oh, 
like yeah, I mean I probably thought the same thing I can't imagine mm-hmm. Brandon like growing up in the era he did yeah. in Utah being like oh I'm a dancer yes. I'm sure people were like oh, okay so Brandon cool. <laughs> no definitely you yeah, know I, I didn't feel like know. that's this huge misconception that people mm-hmm. have about male dancers no they definitely do and I maybe that's why I wasn't really sure at first yeah. just because I literally I think I knew one dancer growing up and he was on dance company with me yeah. but that was it like I didn't know anyone but um yeah I don't know so you, so you go on a date with this guy. Yeah. So I go on a date with him. Well, actually, this is the part that Brandon gets salty about. Okay. I waited to respond because I wanted to play it cool. I'm yeah. like, I'm sure like he DMs girls all the time. Well, people see the verification. They're they like, with the stars. absolutely. I want to like, <laughs> let's do yeah, it. Let's go right yeah. now. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I got to play it. I got to play it cool. Yeah. Like, you know. Today's episode is brought to you by a new therapy. Anu is a mental health clinic in Sandy that specializes in ketamine. Ketamine therapy is a breakthrough treatment for those suffering from severe anxiety, depression, and PTSD, among other things. Treatments are administered in a safe and controlled environment by their team of experienced healthcare professionals. Unlike traditional medications, ketamine works quickly. On average, 80% of Anu therapy patients have reduced their depression and anxiety scores by half or more by their last treatment. I am proof of that. Most of you know this if you're an avid listener, but I completed six sessions of ketamine at a new in the end of July. I have struggled with depression and anxiety my entire life and have been medicated since I was 13. So ketamine was a huge thing for my mental health journey. But one of my biggest takeaways I took from my sessions at a new is just how important the setting is. You have to feel calm, relaxed, comfortable, but most importantly, safe. They do such a good job at creating a peaceful, zen, sacred space for you to really get the most out of your ketamine sessions. I don't think ketamine is for everyone, but I do think if you're interested in ketamine, a new is the best place to do it. So if you're interested or have questions, visit anewtherapyutah.com. A N E W T H E R A P Y U T A H dot com to book your free consultation today. Totally free, no obligation. And if you find that ketamine therapy is right for you, you can use code Josie75 to receive $75 off your first treatment. And thanks again, Anu, for sponsoring today's episode and changing my life. And so I think I responded like, the next day it wasn't that long he makes it seem like it i waited to respond to him you had to give him yes some space right i had to to really be nervous and i still responded the next day so that's quick i know i know usually i give people like five to seven business days to respond back so i'm like this should be an honor for you sir literally but (laughs) i i'm kidding but i responded back and i was just like i'm good how are you (laughs) like what are we doing yeah and then from there we just chatted for a long time on instagram and then i was like are we gonna like at least move to text yeah are you gonna ask for my number yeah and so then when we started texting he had we were just like oh like what are you doing and he was like oh i just got home from working in la and i was joking with him i was just gonna see what he was gonna say and i said oh what do you do for work and he was like oh i just uh work um in la and i'm like i'm kidding Kidding. Of course I know what you do. Yeah. I'm just like, playing it cool. Yeah. Like dancing with the stars is like in your bio, dude. It's in your bio. <laughs> you think I haven't done my research? I'm an FBI agent. At this I, point, I know who your parents are. I know where you grew up. I know up. your social I know, security number. I know actually. literally everything. I know your whole history. Yes. Your so, credit score. Like, dude, I know you. I know you. Yeah. Yeah. So the rest is history. After that, we went on our first date and he was like sold right on our first really? date. Yeah. He'll tell you that. He was like this she is her my wife yes she is her and I really liked him but again I was like just having fun out here going on lots of dates and I really liked that he was really fun he like we had so much and you know him now like so fun so fun hilarious he was unlike anyone else that I had dated and so after our first date I was like oh okay wait this is different this is really different Kept on going on like maybe a couple more dates after that with other people. And then um, soon after that, I actually had my UVU graduation. He asked if he could come. We were not official or anything. And I was like, um, okay, how about you come to my after party? Like with my family. Had he met your family? No. So he wanted to, he wanted to come to your graduation without meeting your family and like sit with flowers. Oh, and it was so precious. It was so precious, but it was a drive-through graduation. I'm like, 
Oh, you think you're going to pile into my dad's truck with my siblings and everyone and be like, nice to meet you as yeah. you're all sitting on top of each other. Like you know. I barely know you, yeah. but I knew I liked him. And yeah. so I was like, you know what? He wants to come. I'll let him come to the, the party. And it was great. After that, I was like, okay, I'll give this guy a shot. And then we fell in love and here we are. Married. Were your parents sold on it? Yeah, but they, I mean, my mom was kind of like, obviously she was excited, but she just was like, this is so weird. Like I watched him on TV. Yeah. And what are we doing? Like yeah. I never, what's happening? And so I think it was just like a different type of relationship that no one really thought would happen. Yeah. You know? Because yeah, so. when you see someone on your TV screen, it's weird when you see them in real life and then they're in your life. Yes. And you're, like, you're like, wait, I what? Vote, didn't vote for you last <laughs> season. <laughs> like, oh, you actually sucked. Last yeah. That's Ooh, crazy. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So it was a just different dynamic all around. And when you finally decided to get married, was mm -hmm. he in the season of Dancing with the Stars yet? Yeah. Like, was he a pro? Yeah. So we had dated the first season that we were dating was when he was with Kenya and that was 2021. And it was super fun because I would go visit him a ton in LA. So I, I was very familiar with the lifestyle. I knew what I was signing myself up for. And by the end of the season, cause like we knew, we just knew like we, Brandon is 30. I'm 26. We, that's a hundred years old in Utah time. Yeah. And we were like, we're not getting any younger. We know we love each other. Like, what do you think? Yeah. And yeah. So we had decided that we wanted to get married probably November. Okay. And then we got engaged in March, married in July. So by the time we got married, that was a year and a half. That's so a, that's a good timeline. In, U, in Utah time, that, that is, is a, a very long good time. time. Yes. Yeah. But our California friends were like, what's, what are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. We don't know her yet, but Ooh, no, I, they love them. Like, they're the best. Yeah. Because, like, that is a very different dynamic than, mm -hmm. like, a typical nine-to-four job. Oh, yes. Like, it's crazy. It's a whole other world. Mm -hmm. When even just dating him, I know you, like, fell in love with him, but was it ever intimidating while you were dating? Um, I think it was a little bit intimidating, but I don't know. Like, he's such a secure guy. He never has ever made me feel some type of way to be worried about yeah us in our relationship and luckily every single partner that I've known while I've been been around they've been super respectful so there's never been any kind of like showman speculation yeah. or anything like that and so we've been kind of lucky with that that nobody's like pushed the boundary on yeah. that um but yeah I don't think I've ever felt any type of way about our like relationship or marriage but like me personally I've definitely been affected by, yeah, like the change of being a part of this world. Yeah, let's yeah. hear about it because it is a different world. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just I think it's because I again, I just never thought I would be a part of something like this. Yeah. And I was just kind of thrown into it. Obviously, I signed up for it, like knowing what Brandon's job is and whatnot. Yeah. But ever since we've been married, it feels like our life has been like a whirlwind, like insane. I, I could say so many things, but I will say that I, um, I didn't really start sharing our life on social media until probably 2023 last year when it yeah. was really popping off the show. Cause before that the show was doing well, but then when social media started happening with like Harry and Riley last year, yeah. I saw the opportunity to like start posting and get out there. Cause I'm like, wow, people like really yeah. love this well, show. You even said when Brandon mm -hmm. was here last time, you were like, I had to basically force Brandon to like get mm -hmm. on Instagram. Like yes. this is good for you. Yes. Like, mm -hmm. Cause I was actually working full time nine yeah. to five while I was in LA the whole first year that we were married and dating. I was nine to five remote glued to the couch and I would miss out on a lot of things because I had a full time job. Yeah. And then when, when the show was getting even more popular, I was like, okay, we don't know how long this is going to last. We need yeah. to like capitalize off of it and have fun with it. And I originally said to Brandon, I said, look, you're going to miss the wave. Like we got to get out there. And yeah. I had been doing social media and marketing for Altamoda. And if you don't know Altamoda, I'm, you do, yeah, but yeah. it's a really big uh, bridal store here in Utah. They do couture wedding dresses and they're really big on social media. We had grown the following a ton. And I was like, I could do this for like, Brandon. I, know what I'm doing. I yeah. could coach Brandon into this. And so he tried to start, but he just, he's just, it's not his thing. It's not him. Yes. And I wasn't going to force him to do something that he didn't fall in love with. Like he signed up for dancing with the stars to dance. He loves to dance. It's his talent and he's good at teaching, but social media, he just guys, 
he barely knows how to use an iPhone. I'm yeah. being dead serious it's awesome. when I tell you but that. But that's like also like so attractive. Like oh, my husband's I love it. the same mm-hmm. way. And I'm like, I love that you're not, I don't yes. feel like I have to like try to share the spotlight on Instagram yes. with you. Like he doesn't no. want it. Yes. And, but Brandon is the perfect personality for social yeah. media because he's hilarious. Doesn't so care, but he would not have social media if he wasn't like a public figure. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it just wasn't organic for him. And so I was like, you know what? I think I can show a different perspective, a different point of view from me. Because like I said, there's no one in my shoes. The only people that are normal, normal people that are a part of the show are Sam, uh, Lindsay's husband and Whitney's husband, Carson. But like they're not on Instagram showing it. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? I think I could I could introduce Brandon to people from my point of view. And so I started getting on social media and I started last year just posting like a day in the life going yeah. to the show. People loved it. Loved. People loved they it. They ate it up. They ate it up. And it was so fun. And it was cool to connect with the Dancing with Stars fans because they are really passionate. Like really passionate. Very. Very. And we love that. We love that because that's what gives the show life. And if we didn't have that, there wouldn't be a show. Um, but it was hard because last season, if you remember, Brandon had like kind of a controversial um, elimination with Lele. Yeah. And um, I just say that because, I mean, it happens every year. Like when someone goes home, there's going to be people that's like, they should have been home. Yeah. yeah, it happens every year. And it just happened to be Brandon last year. And I had made a video just giving my thoughts. And I feel like it was overall really positive. I had just mentioned like, I don't feel like they should have went home. I feel like there should have been other people that got eliminated before them, but not like throwing shade. I just had said that in passing. Well, it's your husband. Uh, Guys, you think I'm not going to stand up for my husband? Like, come on. No, and I would get comments like, that's so embarrassing that you would like say this for your husband. Like, like, you wouldn't. You wouldn't stand up for your husband. Plus, like, I believe that with my heart and soul. Yeah. Yes. And so then that was the first time I started getting like hate because they weren't only coming after like dancing. They were like, coming after the jugular like yeah, they you. they were coming after me they were coming after Brandon anything and everything and I think it wasn't even really the true dancing with the stars fans people just like to give an opinion and they're entitled to that for sure but it was hard it was really hard for me because I have a really thick skin growing up dancing like and that's pageants what, oh yeah people are literally it's pretty judging sub- you subjective off of you yes yes and so I when I had started social media and I would see people talk about hey I was like you guys need to just grow a pair. Get over it's, it. Yes. Like, it's so fine. Oh, when it was me, I'm like, what's wrong with me? Like, the world's ending. The world's ending. And I, I don't feel like I'm very controversial as a person. I like to make a lot of friends and not cause drama and just have a good time. Okay. And that's all I wanted to do with social media. And so then when people were weighing in, I was like, whoa, this is a lot. And it was kind of going on past the show last season. It was going on through tour. Didn't really know what I wanted to do after that. I really had to sit and think like, do I actually want to share my life? Like yeah. this is a lot. Because this Dancing with, Dancing with the Stars is one of the biggest shows right now. And so there's a lot of opinions. There's a lot of voices. There's a lot of eyes, which again, amazing, amazing. amazing. We're so thankful for the opportunity. We would take it 10 times out of 10 times. Like, But that being said, you have to be careful with what you want to share online because then you have to be okay with the opinions that you get. Like you have to take the good and the bad. And so I just had to look inward and had to do a lot of growing up in the last couple of months. But I just went into this season like, you know what? People just want content. They love Dancing with the Stars. Just have fun. Post what you want. And that's been the best thing because I've had fun with it. And the people notice that I, I don't. I feel like I have anything to prove. Yeah. Like, just have fun. It's dancing. It's it's a dance show. Like, have fun with it. Yes. And people have loved it this year. They've loved Chandler and Brandon. And it's, it's been great. And so I'm thankful that I've had that lesson. Yeah. Because now I know, like, with each season, there's going to be different couples that get hate or love and whatnot. And it's not personal. It's really not. You just got to move on. Well, and too, I feel like you made this a career too like tiktok is now a job for Mm -hmm. you yes and so you have to kind of weigh out the pros and cons Mm -hmm. like do i want this to be my job where i can like make money and also be with brandon and make content or do i want to go back to a nine to five Mm -hmm. missing out on things but i don't Mm -hmm. have to worry about people hating on me yes oh and i which one's more important right and the number one question that i get asked all the time which i totally get why people ask it is what do you do for work? Because all I post about is Dancing with Stars, which that's my fault. I mean, yeah, but I know what people want to see. So I'm yeah. just, you know, I'm doing better to show more about me and letting people get to know Brandon and I outside of the show. But before 
specifically last year, I always felt like I had something to prove yeah. because I was in this space where there there were a lot of celebrities and influencers and yeah. just people that were really established, which was really inspiring. And it made me want to be more, but it also made me feel like I wasn't enough. And yeah. then plus people being like, what do you do besides yeah. this? And yeah, I just, I just had to remind myself that like, I do more than just this. And even if I did just this, like, why wouldn't I? And if you were yeah. in the same place, you would like, and the things that I don't show, like I do work, I do freelance bridal uh, content I model and then I do content nine to five full time for Brandon and I and Chandler. I'm constant. And Chandler? Well, I don't, I don't edit her videos unless she needs help. Yeah, she's, yeah. she's asked me before. Yeah. I send them ideas all the time. Have you, you've edited a vlog. Oh, it is agony. <laughs> I don't know. It takes me hours well, to see. All hours. Of the, all of the content, like you are taking two hours of content and putting it into two minutes. Yes. Please try that, everybody. You know that. You that know. Uh, <laughs> try being an influencer for a day. day. No, Don't but like us. it's very time consuming. Yes. I think people just see the two minute video and think mm -hmm. it took two minutes. Yes. But that two minute video took two to three yes. hours, not including the time that you took to film it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. like a day in the life vlog, you're having to like set up your phone. Oh and, my gosh. That's one here, of the hardest parts. And it's like annoying. Is, yes. it, is it as hard as being a freaking school teacher? No, no, no. no. And I'm not saying that. And I want to also say on top of that, I'm so lucky that this is a luxury that I have that I've been yeah. able to choose that. And I love it. This is my dream. This is my dream. It's a dream job. I've wanted to work in social media. I never thought I'd do it for myself, but here we are. And I'm having so much fun with it. And I never want to complain. But I'm like, it is a it's lot. Time consuming. It's a lot of work. I'm thankful for it. But it's, yeah. It's a lot. And when mm -hmm. you're having to also help other people create their content and edit their content, yes. it's a lot of hours that get mm -hmm. spent on your phone and looking at a screen and... That ain't my, good for your health. My neck hurts. I'll <laughs> tell you what. My neck, my back. Right? <laughs> yeah. I'm broken. Yeah. I'm not good. I'm not well, but. But. Gotta go so with Chandler and Brandon right now, I mean, they're killing it. Oh my gosh. They're, they're so good. They're, they're so, so good. good. And everyone's like, is she a dancer? Is she a dancer? Okay. Let me set the record straight. I feel like I have to keep addressing yeah. the camera look, here. Look at that camera. I don't, I don't, I don't really talk a lot on like yeah. TikTok and social media. I go live. So shout out to the people on the live, but this is where I'm setting the, the record straight. You're hearing it here first. Here first. Here first. Um, okay. So let me just put it into perspective. I started dancing when I was seven, stopped when I was nine, did every single style. When Brandon teaches me how to do ballroom, I have two left feet. It is so hard. It's its own. It's its own thing. Oh, it is its own thing. It's so hard. I can't move my hips to save my life. So Chandler, to give perspective, she stopped dancing when she was nine, which is really early. That's really Very early. Because when did you say you stopped? 15. Because yeah, you. I think you just said nine, but you oh, meant oh. to say 15, but yeah, she sorry. stopped at nine. Seven to 15, 15. and okay. then she stopped at, at nine. nine. Or, yeah, nine. And okay, she, okay, I don't okay. know when she started, but even then, like your pivotal years are after no, that. No, nine is when you like take it for real, for real. Yeah, that's when you're like, mom, I'm quitting softball. I'm quitting yes. soccer. Yes. Dance is life. And she ended up saying, I'm doing acting. And so I don't want to say that having dance experience isn't helpful because of course it is. You're more aware of your body and the dynamic and things like that. But there's been a lot of people saying like, this is so annoying that she's a dancer. And I'm like, guys, totally. I get where you're coming from. We've had dancers on the show before. But Chandler is gifted. Like she, she is working so hard. She works so hard. She's the first one at the studio, the last to leave. And she works so hard to be there. And so I, to people that say she shouldn't be there, I just want people to give him a chance. And Brandon's never had a partner like this before. So we just want him to get a freestyle. He would yeah. kill it. He would kill it. So like yeah. out of all of Brandon's partners, who would you say has been like the easiest to teach dances to? Would it be Chandler? Chandler. Mm -hmm. yeah. And not that I'm Brandon. I don't, yeah. I'm not in the room with them. But like, but I'm sure you hear Brandon mm -hmm. when he comes home being like, oh, that was a yes. hard day in the studio. Yes. Like, Chandler definitely is a natural. She picks up things really easy, but she does have a really good work ethic. And with any partner that is a dancer, huge. not a pa partner or dancer, oh my gosh, um, their work ethic, if they don't have it, they're not going to do good. You could have the best dancer in the world. And if they don't want to be there, it probably won't be as good. It's and like Anna W. Is nothing. Nothing. Kind of iconic, honestly. <laughs> no, literally. I something. was in the room and everyone didn't know whether to laugh or cry. We were like, uh, yeah. 
Yeah. No, she's something else. I think she was just being funny. I just don't think. No, it was I right don't think. Space. I don't think she is funny. I think she no. is just that way. I don't and think it was people, very sound. And people can moment. think it's funny or they cannot think it's funny, but I don't think she cares. Like no. I don't think she's trying to be funny. She's like I don't bothered. think she has a funny bone in her body. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't know her personally, so I I never met she her. She just usually. seems very serious. Yeah, I don't know. I've talked to Ezra about her, and she he said she's really funny and that she has really dry humor. But I personally see. I see the dry her. humor part, but I yes. like don't know if that dry humor is like her actually trying to be well funny. and like most of america doesn't get dry humor yeah, so no. you gotta be careful you gotta be careful there because no. you don't know who you're dealing with but no yeah, dry humor crazy. and cancel culture do not go i'm scared of her hand. i'm scared of her i don't want to touch her with a 10-foot pole She's, not anna cancel culture, cancel culture. yes it's, it's scary out there yes with dry humor too i know you gotta be careful i know so Chandler's amazing. She's amazing. Guys, just watch, vote. Also, something that I wanted to throw in there is a lot of people have been torn about who to vote for every season. They're yeah. like, I love Alona. I love Chandler. I love Steven. Who do I vote yeah. for? Which, me too, guys. Me too. They're amazing. You have 10 votes per couple yeah. per voting method. You don't have to pick just one. Yeah. So guys, vote for your favorites to be in the finale. Today's episode is brought to you by Bruce's Berries. Bruce's Berries is Utah's original chocolate strawberries. Enjoy fondue-style chocolate-covered strawberries, bananas, caramel apples, strawberry shortcake, and more. Their chocolate and caramel are designed to stay warm and gooey with every bite. Gluten and nut-free for dietary accommodations. Try their fruit in a cup with your choice of milk chocolate, white chocolate, caramel, Biscoff cookie, or cinnamon and sugar on top, all freshly made and ready to enjoy. Planning an event? Customize your catering with sprinkles, fruit varieties, and personalized cup stickers. They offer delicious, unique, and affordable catering for weddings, corporate events, holiday parties, showers, and more. If you can plan it, they can cater it. With rates starting at just $4 per person, they'll work with you and your vision and your budget to create the perfect experience. They were at the weekly trash party. If you tried them, you know how good they are. I first saw them at Macy's event for Baby Mama and was obsessed. So if you're looking for even more Bruce's berries catch their food truck from april through october along the wasatch front they offer an expanded menu featuring ice cream nachos chocolate covered strawberry shakes and brownie sundaes with their house made strawberry sauce you can find them at local markets track down their food truck or let them cater your next event they cannot wait to serve you follow them on instagram for their weekly schedule posted every sunday at bruces.berries b-r-u-c-i-e-s dot berries b-e-r-r-i-e-s and thanks bruce's berries for coming to my weekly trash party love ya how Period. much is the would you say the votes versus the judges like changes things the votes versus the judges like, like what how which it's was weighed? yeah which is more important that's a good question so i feel like in seasons past it's been more about the dancing more about the scores yeah um, I don't know if they've actually changed like the system. I don't really know how yeah. it works. I've heard Lindsay talk about it before too. Um, so if you want to hear more info for listening to the podcast, check out Lindsay's page because she does a good job breaking it down. Um, but the votes are really important. It's it's really a popularity contest with some dancing for sure. Really? Yeah. And it's like, of course, it's a dance show, but it does matter to get votes because we've seen it last year with Lele. Yeah. I think people just assume that she was getting votes. She had 60 million followers. And so you can assume she's really popular. She's getting votes, but it wasn't the case. Well, because her, yeah. a lot of her fan base is out of the country and doesn't mm -hmm. it have to be America and Canada. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So votes matter. They really do. So if you're watching and not voting, I'm voting. Okay. Oh, I vote. I, then I, vote. <laughs> I spread out my votes. I Good. give my love Good. to everybody. Yes. And I never expect people to be like only Brandon, yeah. especially when you know people personally. I'm yeah. like, no, there is the love. much love to go around. Vote for your favorites. Let's get them all to the finale because if you had a finale with all of your favorites, that would be the best finale in history. Best like, finale ever. Okay. Yes. Who are, who's your favorite other than oh. Brandon and Chandler? Okay. Okay, personally or Pers dance wise? Both. Let's do personally and let's do okay, dance. Alona, I know you love Alona. No, she's, she's exactly who you think she would Alona, be. Alona, you're never gonna hear this, but I'm I'll tell her. So I'll tell obsessed her. Obsessed with you. Me too. Someone asked me the other day, like, who's your dream guest? And it was always like Claudia Oshrey, who's like another yes, podcaster. Uh -huh. And now it's Alona. Like, okay, I will pass along. Like, the message. please pass that message along. I'm so obsessed with her. Same. I started following her when she when she posted about the beds at the Olympics. Yes. Do you remember that she yes, answered she the question? She was talking about like 
like the whole camp like what yes the, what do they call it yes. the, the village the village, the village. Yes. yes and people were like do they really make those beds so no one can get freaky on them and she was like let me tell you all about them took us on the journey I followed immediately I love her. she's hilarious um I had actually made a video talking about all the celebrities of the show before the yeah. season started and I like just gagged about her on it I wish her and Brandon were partners can I just say that we, we were can wondering here's the thing we love Chandler love her we also love Alona they have different strengths for sure for sure I just knew Alona before going in I, yeah, so I was exciting. very aware of her yes and I was a fan of her because there's celebrities sometimes I'll be like oh yeah I know them and then there's celebrities that I am a fan of and I just want to be like please dance with Brandon this is gonna be no, amazing I literally had a solo episode and I said that I wish Alona and Brandon would have been partners oh just I listen because, I listen to all because, of them I know you do so you heard that and yes, I'm like yeah. I just because I love her and I love him I know has nothing to do with Chandler Chandler is amazing oh yeah stunning, she's gorgeous amazing. beautiful yes but they like, all are I'm honestly. obsessed with Alona, so. yes and she's like I said exactly who you think she would be just like funny nice when okay. I made that video that I was talking about yeah. before she followed me first I poop my pants. I no, was like, I everybody, too. dude, it's, it's happening. happening. It's, it's happening. happening. No it's happening. Out. Yes. I was like, okay, I don't even care about anything in the world right now. This is so cool. And then obviously become little internet friends, yeah. but I didn't meet her until the premiere. I'm sitting there in my chair, mind my own business. She comes and says hi to me first, just like we were just old pals. I love and that. And that, I think that says so much that about her. That says so you know? much because like you're an Olympian. Like you're the you're star. You're so cool. Right you're now. so cool. You're the star. You're the moment. Yes. You are the girl on magazines. You're the girl yes. on everyone's Sports TikToks. Illustrated. Like, hello. You are the moment. She's and for her, her to like be so humble to go out of her way and be like, let me talk to people that I'm friends with on social Riley media. of Salem from like, the sticks. <laughs> like, <laughs> Who is she? That's so amazing. I love her. Yes. Yeah. And like I said, there's so many amazing stars. I've never met a mean one ever. That ever, shocks me ever. actually. I, I'm sure people have their moments. I would have my moments too. If I constantly had people being like, you have to be here. You have to do this. Yeah. Let me have your picture and signature yeah. and whatnot. But yeah, she was great. Obviously, when I met Chandler, we hit it off right away. Obviously. Like, we're pretty much the same age. So when we chat, we just talk in like Gen Z lingo. Yeah. Because I'm a, what's the, a zillennial? Yeah, you're in the middle. Brandon looks at us like, what are you saying to me right <laughs> She's now? like, you guys could like just adopt her as like your guys' daughter. Yes. Even though has, she's like the she, same age as you, but like. She looks like Brandon. Like, Have you seen she, no, this? They literally look related. So yes. I'm like, she can just be like your guys' daughter. She is a part of it. She comes to our house all the time. Yeah. We make soup together. Is she gonna... dating? Is she married? I don't no, know. No, she's single. She's yeah. single. Just okay. a single little actress, LA girl living the her life. best life on Dancing with the Stars. I know. She's so, so cool. So yeah, you guys can like parent her and find yes, her we've a been good doing, man. Yes. Because Hollywood's scary. Oh, I can't even imagine dating there. Riley, good luck. No, I'm scared. I literally cannot imagine. Yes, I know. But it's been fun. We've been doing like a little Halloween series with Chandler where we've gone to like, went to Halloween Horror Nights. We went to um, Queen Mary's. It's like another haunted boat yeah. thing. And it's just us three. Yeah, she's take just her our, under your wing. Yeah, she's your, it's she's Brandon, your little... me, her. We're <laughs> just doing it. our thing. Yeah. I love it so much. Yeah, it's fun. Okay, so Alona's your favorite person. Oh, person. My favorite in the race. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Who's a sleeper? And I know you're going to love what I'm about to say. I'm excited. Danny. Yes. And Whitney. Yes. Hello. Yes. I actually think he has like some good improvement and he's somebody yeah. that proves you don't have to be a dancer to work hard and actually show up and impress me. Well, and he's hot. Yeah. And so is she. Like they're so hot And like together. just Whitney in the ballroom, it's, it, there's nothing like it. She just owns the stage. I can't help but watch her. When her and Brandon are in a dance together, I'm like, I got to split my time. Sorry. I don't know how my <laughs> eyes are just going towards the blonde girl no, in the front. She's incredible. I'm also yes. obsessed with her. So yeah. slay, shout out. I know, she's um, the best. No, that's a, that surprises me though that yeah. that would be in – I don't know. It's, favorites. it's hard too because they become like family. I know yeah. that's like cheesy to say, but we spend so much yeah. time together. And I, I mean, even Brandon spends even more. And I can't imagine how he feels, especially when you get eliminated and you're like, okay, like, who am I going to vote for? I'm not voting for anyone. Like, this, I got to support everybody. Yeah. They all have such a journey on the show. And that's why it's so fun for people to watch and why they get so passionate too. Because when their favorite go, goes home, they're like, now what? I'm yeah. mad. 
No, it's it's heartbreaking. <laughs> yes. What's like a typical day to day for you and Brandon? Like Brandon leaves in the morning, doesn't come back till uh-huh. night. Do you go and see him? Like what's a day, a typical day in okay. the studio? Yes, in the studio. So <laughs> I'll give you a rundown of what our year looks like first okay. because like I said, it's insane. Yeah. I feel like ever since we've been married, it's been a whirlwind because right when we got married, it was July, end of July. Then in August, we moved to L.A., and we're in LA from August to December, go home for the holidays. Brandon goes on tour January to April. And then it's summer. We usually travel. Brandon takes gigs. I work a lot in Utah. We do it all over again. It's And you never lot. know if he's going to be picked up again. Yeah, that's so how it's it like works. this weird, like, yeah. do we plan for this? Do we mm-hmm. plan for that? What do we do? Yes, it's insane. I don't even know what else to say about that because it's just the waiting game and you hope and pray that it works out and you work hard before. So you know that financially you'll be okay and you'll, you pivot with anything, with any job. If it doesn't work out, you pivot. Um, we've been lucky though, that the last couple of years they've loved him enough to bring him back. Um, but then our typical day. So Brandon, it's, it changes. So they typically rehearse for like four to five hours with a celebrity. And then sometimes they'll have pro rehearsal and then, I don't know, like a fitting or camera blocking or what, whatever it may be. We only have one car in LA. So I'm chauffeur. Okay. I'm chef. I'm content creator. I'm business partner. I'm doing a lot. You're manager. I'm manager. I'm manager. And I love it. It's been fun and it's a luxury for sure. It's like been so much fun to just like live in LA, work in LA. Yeah. But it's been such a cr- crazy transition because I just never thought that this would be my life. Do you and Brandon ever butt heads if you're like Loki as manager telling him, okay, we need to do this video. We need to do this. Like we don't, we never fight. I know that's like tacky. I think it's because Brandon, Brandon is an angel on this earth. My husband never fight either. Yes. Yeah. And people think that's compatible, but I'm like, but that's the thing is we're polar opposites, Mm -hmm. but I think that's how we don't fight because Mm -hmm. if I had someone like me, we fight all the time. Okay. Yes. he doesn't care to fight. Right. So we just, he just looks at me like, okay, sweetheart. Okay. Like, that's how Brandon is. Yeah. I think we're pretty similar. I wouldn't yeah. say we're opposites, but he's just very easygoing. We'll kind of go with whatever. And I think he values my opinion a lot. And so if I'm like, hey, there's this trend you should do, sometimes he'll be like, I don't know. Like, am I cringe? Am I yeah. cringe right now? Yeah. And like, just listen, it'll do so well. And this is an example from the other day. He had like a neck tat on from one of the yes. nights. Did yes. you see this yes. video? Yes. Okay. So he had like sparkles, guy liner, all the things. And I was like, Brandon, you should make a video just being emo because it's funny. People make fun of it all the time yeah, yeah. On, on TikTok. And he was like, well, really? You think people are going to like that? And I was like, yeah, I think they will. Like, if not, we'll delete the video. Who cares? He, he made a video, wasn't given his heart and soul. So I'm like, okay, fine. Again, POV, I feel like coming in the door. That video is one of our most watched videos. It has like 3 million views, like over slay. 3 million. Yeah, slay. I'm like, just listen to me. And he does. When, when yeah. he sees the numbers, he's way more excited and willing. Yeah, it's to incentivizing. Do it. Yeah, he's like, oh, people do like silly videos and he's really goofy and silly. So I'm like, you are perfect for this gig. Just do it. Just do it. And he is doing it. If you've seen him on. No, he's killing it. You guys he are killing it. He is a it. TikTok star. You guys love are TikTok it. stars together. You're I, the TikTok couple. You're nice. We don't know what's happening most of the time. But no, especially amazing. when I see Alona and Alan, they do like two videos a day of content. And they're great. They're great content too. They are great like, content. It's I'm so like, good. how does this come to your mind? She has a sound for everything in life. Everything. I strive to be here in every aspect. We love her. We love her. I'll hail her. Yes. Alona, please come join us right please, here. Please, please. You can Fun take pun. this seat. Like, you can I will actually sit be on the, the floor. You like, this is your podcast yes. now. Like, we'll sit on the, the rug. Like, and literally, watch. she should start a podcast. Did you see she was on um, Brittany Broski's podcast? Yeah, and I hurt my feelings. Like, because well, you're like, me next. <laughs> I, like, Wait, I want you to come on. Yes. Bye. No, I. One day. One day. One day. We're praying. We're hoping. Yes. We're crossing our Manifesting. Fingers. So now that, like, we're in the thick of the season. And you're just back and forth, back and forth. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like life is going to slow down ever for you? Like, do you ever think like, oh, what's Mm -hmm. next? Should we have babies? Should Mm -hmm. we like life is so crazy for you right now. Like, what are your goals, plans? You know, it's interesting because when I was in college and I had just graduated, I had no plans of like doing the typical like getting married young, 
buying a house, getting a dog, and there's nothing Popping wrong with out that. babies. Yes, and I, I did and do want that eventually, but yeah. I just knew, like, I didn't want that immediately, and I actually was going to move to Hawaii. I think Brandon talked about yeah. that, and then we met, fell in love, whatever, and I just know that it was, like, meant to be that I married Brandon because now I live this crazy life, and anytime I feel like I want to complain about it, I'm like, girl, you wanted this. You manifested this. Yeah. But going forward, I think we'll slow down a little bit here because like I said, Brandon's 30. I'm 26. We have goals of buying a house in Utah, hopefully soon. Like this is where you want to end up is Utah. Yeah. I think eventually just because like there's really no need for us to be in California. It's so close. All of our friends and family are here. I don't know. It just makes sense for us to be here. It's kind of our dream to have a home here. Um, so hopefully in the next couple months we get a house and we want to have babies. I don't know when. No, that's like everyone's number one question for I you. Because your babies are going to be okay. the cutest babies on the planet. And they're going to be like tall and I athletic. I need to like knock on wood after no, that because no. people say that and I'm like, they're going to come out. No, there's no way they wouldn't come jinx. out the cutest things ever. There's literally no way. Like science is science and there's no way. I don't know, guys. I'm so sorry if I disappoint y'all. No, but I don't think you My babies are will. cute, but I'm excited. I'm excited to be a mom. I feel like it's the first time now that I've really thought about it and been yeah. like, I can see that. I can see that for me being a mom and settling down and having a home. I just haven't had that yet. I'm starting to crave it actually. Yeah. And so I think we'll slow down here in a little bit, but our, our lives, just the, the nature of it, it's always going to have a little buzz. It's always going to have a little something some crazy. Well, yeah. it seems like you have a very like entrepreneur mindset, mm-hmm. like a go-getter. Yeah. And like today's episode is brought to you by Care Cleaning. Are you tired of spending your weekends scrubbing and dusting instead of enjoying your free time? Well, I have the perfect solution for you. Introducing Care Cleaning, your go-to professional cleaning company, proudly serving Utah County and Salt Lake City for five years. With over 50 dedicated employees, they send specialized teams to ensure that your home is cleaned efficiently and effectively. Their high standards mean there is no corner that is looked over. They treat your space like it's their own. Whether you need a one-time deep clean, recurring services, or even help with moving in or out, they got you covered. But wait, there's more. Want to learn how to clean like a pro? Follow them on Instagram at carecleaning, where they share their top cleaning tricks and tips. From the best products for every surface to hacks that save you time, they are here to help elevate your cleaning game. Plus, they offer their very own line of cleaning supplies, so you can keep your home sparkling clean just like they do. For more information about their services, you can email scheduling at carecleaning.com or go to their website at www.carecleaning.com. You can also follow them at carecleaning on Instagram. I've been using care cleaning for over five years and I can honestly say they're the best cleaning service I've used. Love them so much and I am so glad that they are now a sponsor of Weekly Trash. Thanks, care cleaning. Motherhood is really hard and it's mm-hmm. also very fulfilling but yeah. I think people with that mindset they always kind of also want something outside of motherhood yes so the nice thing about being a tiktoker is you can do both like yes. you can be home and you can still be making content mm-hmm. and doing all those things which yeah. is nice because a nice. lot of jobs you don't get that luxury I know yes getting to do both yes and I feel like the goal too with tiktok is I think eventually Brandon and I want to have our own thing yeah no idea what that will be if that's like a brand a business I've worked in small business in my whole job career so I love the idea of having something of on our own and having access to TikTok and people are just interested in what's going on in our life that helps us get there yeah and so that's also maybe something we have on the docket for a goal in the next couple of years we'll see don't know stay tuned manifesting <laughs> well whatever see. it is buy it <laughs> um wait so when does the season end for dancing with the stars do um, they know the exact like finale date yeah it's the last week in uh, or not the last week oh yeah yeah, yeah. is the last week in november or thanksgiving yes that's the week that tuesday okay. so it's tuesday finale thursday thanksgiving so you guys get to be together during the holidays without all the chaos. Yeah, it's still chaotic though because the season ends. Let's say Brandon wins yeah. manifesting. He would go to New York the day after. My family's going to be in LA for Thanksgiving. They're yeah. coming to the beach. We're doing like a Disney thing. Fun. Yeah, it'll be fun. And then he immediately goes into tour rehearsal. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then we go into the holidays. He leaves January 2nd or something for a tour. Gone till April. 
Guys, and last time, it's didn't crazy. you go to? You went on tour with him last time. Not full time. The only time I would ever really consider going on tour is if they gave me a job, like if they wanted me to do social media or marketing yeah. or something. And that's not un- uncommon because back in the day, I believe Lindsay's husband and Whitney's husband went and they worked a job and they went on tour full time. Um, but I just have chosen just to pop in and out because I feel like I get in the way, like the space, the buses, yeah. small, not a lot of room. So I just pick my favorite locations, usually the ones that he has days off in. That's where I'll, that's where I end up going. But it's fun for me. I feel bad because I wish I could be there with Brandon full time because it's a lot like mentally, physically. Yeah. It's so fun because he gets to go meet fans in real life, the ones that voted for him. But um, yeah, for me, I just kind of punch in and punch out. And how do you guys keep your relationship strong when you have so much time apart? <laughs> my parents actually make fun of us for this. We are on the phone all the time really he yeah we're constantly on the phone talking we're best friends so it's just like we're constantly just like giving each other updates and hanging out even if no one is talking on the phone yeah we're there we're hanging out and I don't feel like it ever has any sort of negative impact on our marriage when he's on tour or on the show because we have that connection with each other we don't really need I don't know these big gestures to, to let each other know that we care and we're still there you know that thank you have you connected or bonded with any other uh wags of the celebrities um this season yes yeah so there really hasn't been a ton in the past um and to be honest like last year was really the first normal year since I've been around after COVID that they let us hang out outside outside the show because when we were married in 2022 and even in 2021 when we were dating they had like strict rules they really didn't want you to hang out outside the show because if somebody gets covid it ruins everything it ruins the show yeah Yeah. which makes sense and so we were rule followers and we didn't really hang out but this year um i became friends with tess and she's steven's girlfriend so she's like an olympic wife yes and then kelsey anderson which is joey's girlfriend and i also love her yeah she's so funny too she's so funny she has an amazing sense of humor literally gorgeous when i saw her like when we met for the first time hair like how can you be even more beautiful in real life and Joey and her together. It's like uh, angels on this earth. On. I'm not kidding you. Great people. I remember Brandon, when he came home after meeting Joey for the first time, he was like, I would golf with him. And if you know your man in golf, you want to golf with somebody for you, nine hours. Okay. If you love him so much, why don't you marry him? Because like, that's huge. Yes. Yeah. That's huge. Have you ever gotten starstruck by any of the celebrities you guys have met? Um, <sighs> I feel like with time, it kind of dwindles because yeah. not to be like, I've been around so many but celebrities. But you have. I have. And it's in like really casual settings. So I never feel like I can get starstruck because I don't want to be weird. I don't yeah. want to ruin the vibe, you yeah, know? Yeah. But I remember when I met Julianne Huff, I was really starstruck. I met Jojo Siwa, like when we Brandon and I were dating yeah. and she was on the show. And I was like, I watched you on Dance Moms back like, in the day. That's it's so crazy. crazy. And then one time, Kourtney Kardashian was at the show with Travis Barker. And I was standing by... Um, What's the name? Landon? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Why, is, why is that still... Landon Barker? Fact? Yes, because he was dating Charlie. I was standing by him, and those two are right there. I didn't meet them because I was like, so I'm going to be a weirdo. Yeah, it's I'm like, how do you weird. approach? How do you approach and not seem weird? But like, yes, at that level of fame, they get approached all the time. Like, it's second nature to them to have somebody be like, hey, look at the picture, but you don't yes. want to be that person. Well, I don't want to ruin the vibe. Yeah, you don't want to be... You but know? like, it's so hard because you know that like... They're just right there. They're right <laughs> there. And all I have is my word. People like, could be like, you're lying. And I'm like, like, I'm telling you, I know I didn't like, get a picture to prove it. But like, no, I know I would be starstruck. I know. But any Kardashian. anytime there has been like, oh, this was like maybe two shows ago. James Charles was at the show. Yes. And he taught me how to do my makeup back in the day. I watched oh, yeah. His those videos. YouTube tutorials. Are you kidding? Yes. And I saw him taking pictures with um, Markel and I'm friends with Markel and I didn't see he was with James Charles. So I was like what's up? What are you doing? Like making fun of him, like teasing him. And then I look over and James Charles was right there. And I was like, I love you. I, <laughs> can I get a selfie? And he was so nice. They're always so nice when you're That's just like, so good. can I get a picture? I'm a big yeah. fan. They always, for me personally are like, of course, like, let's do it. That. What's your side? What's your angle? Love. Has, yes. it, has it been weird having people now wanting to do that with you though? You and Brandon? Yes. It's really just started happening this year. And I'm still like nobody. But with Brandon, it's been really cool to watch. And I don't know why, but it specifically happens at Disneyland. When we go oh, to Disneyland. Yeah, Disney's where all the, the same celebrities. Yeah. yeah, like the Disney times Dancing with Stars. 
it's the same fans yeah it's the same so it's been really just like surreal to see him like his hard work is paying off and people are loving getting to know him especially this season like he's really thriving online and that's where the fans exist and so then when they get to meet him in person they're geeked and i'm like just his dance wife in the corner you know that meme of like the mom at christmas it's like what did she say like when your mom tells you that she she wasn't going to get you the gift that you wanted but then on christmas morning she has her tea and she's like that's me so giddy Brandon. about it yes yeah no really i love cool. how supportive you are like thank you you are the most supportive wag ever thank you. and brandon is so lucky to have you Thanks. like truly thank you you guys are rock stars and i'm obsessed Thanks. so all i've ever wanted to do is show people that he is everything he's funny he's talented and i feel like finally people are getting to know him and that's all i've ever wanted so it's been great yeah. Well, you're really good at like bringing out that side of him on the internet because he doesn't want to, but like you're going to And make he's it. having fun. He's having fun. He's having a good time. Yeah. Well, before I let you leave, you have to do trash topic can. I'm kind of scared. You got to pick a topic out of that trash okay, can, baby. Something naughty. I have to not answer it. My grandma's, <sighs> goody, goody grandma's going to be watching here. this. You're going to get the sex position question. I just know it. Oh, what's my toxic trait? What is your toxic trait? Oh, okay. My toxic trait is probably. I'm a terrible responder. Like I will. Oh, really? Yes. Like my friends will text me. My family will text me and I'll be like, I'll get back to you. Then I forget in my messages, hundreds, my DMs, hundreds. So if I ever don't respond to you, I don't hate you. It's that. I just am not good at it. And that's an excuse. I need to be better. But that's my toxic trait. That's a good one. My toxic trait is that I assume people are reading my mind. Oh, like Mm -hmm. Carly, the girl who does my video. She can attest to this. Like. In my head, I feel like I said something to her, but I never said it. And then like, she doesn't do it. And I'm like, why didn't you do this? And she's like, you literally never told me. (laughs) And I'm like, I just assumed you knew. Like I, I do it with my husband. I do it with my family. I do it with my friends. And everyone's like, you never said anything. Like we can't Mm -hmm. read your mind, Josie. And I, it's something I have to work on because Mm -hmm. I just assume everybody is functioning at the same pace as me. And they all are thinking the same thing I'm thinking. Yep. And they're not like, even this morning, my son was sick and he woke up early, got in bed with us. And my husband went downstairs and I'm thinking, oh, he's going downstairs because he's going to go get medicine Mm -hmm. for him. No, he just went downstairs because he didn't want to be in the bed with us. And so I'm pissed. I'm like, Mm -hmm. why didn't you get the medicine? And he's like, you never said to get the medicine. And I'm like, you idiot. Like our kid is sick. Like go downstairs. You get the medicine. So just like things like that. I just know. And then you're mad for a second and then you're like, okay. I have that Latina blood. I'm an angry, feisty little woman. I forgot you're Latina. Yes, I still love it. My I'm husband's just... like the most quiet human. And I'm like <laughs> yeah. yelling all the time. Hey, he just needs a little spice. He, he just does needs need a little that. spice. Yes. Well, before we end, is there any trash you want to take out? Oh, oh, I was telling you. Yeah, because you said about this. Yeah, so I'm, I'm giving you the this. opportunity. Yeah, because I'm an, I'm I'm a trasher. You're a trasher, and so I know this you gotta is let coming. it out. Okay, so this is not to make this again all about dancing with stars, but, but that that's your era right now. Okay, oh, my whole life revolves around this. Your whole I quit life. My job, moved to LA, <laughs> married a man. It's always the men. You are a, <laughs> you're kidding. a dancing. <laughs> dancing with the stars have fans, and then there's dancing with the stars wives and spouses, and they're, they're your whole life revolves. Yes, it's around so it. weird. It's so weird. It's so weird. Anyway, my trash is that when the season started, I had a friend specifically, a friend I'm close with, message me and said, "Hey, I love you so much, but I won't be voting for Brandon this season because I'm a huge fan of blank." dead serious and that's happened multiple times wait like times. being like so for real yes okay what well, okay okay <laughs> okay so one fun. i'm like that's actually mean one why would me why would they even say that to you i don't like that, just do I'm, it in private yeah like that's what i'm it's saying it's not like the voting has like your name on it yeah it's anonymous it's anonymous like i'm why would you say that it. no literally why would you say that <laughs> B, like you said, there's 10 votes. Like you can vote for other people. I know. And to be fair, I don't think a lot of people know that, that you can vote for other people. So that's why I said it. But that is actually literally so weird. I know. That she would go out of her way to tell you she's not voting for no and I, being serious like like being like funny like i'm not voting for brandon but like no you're gonna vote for brandon serious. and that's happened a couple of times and i'm like okay maybe i shouldn't be as butthurt because again i'm like it's one thing to vote for somebody else like people can love who they want to vote yeah. for, or love who they love vote for who you want to vote for that's fine if you love somebody vote for them that's great girl don't tell me my feelings are hurt. My feelings are hurt. Would you still say you're friends? Yeah, I would still say we're friends. <laughs> I don't think I don't think it's friendship worthy of breaking up. But, but I so was weird. shocked. I was like, wait, 
what's happening what have you had any like friendship breakups since being in like the dancing with the world spotlight or like feeling like friends maybe are just mm-hmm. using you for clout that's a good question it's hard to say because like i said i don't feel like we have this like clout we're, yeah. we're definitely we're not alona we're not chandler but it's still there I, there's eyes anyone there's with social eyes. media following there's clout I feel like everyone's been really good. We've had so much support and that's all that we can ask for in any capacity. People being excited about the show just does good for us. But there has been some times where I'm like, is this authentic? Because we didn't really talk before this. Yeah. But either way, I'm, I love having friends. Make We're all friends. the friends. Yeah. Yeah. Come join the party. I love it. It's a little crazy over here, but... But people are having it. fun. Yeah. You're having a great time. Yeah. And I love to see it. So never stop posting Thank it. Thank you. Because I can't wait to see all the exciting things, the future babies, the future <sighs> cute babies that you're going to be popping out. I hope, out. guys. I hope. How I many hope kids do cute. you want? Perfect oh, world. If you were going to ask Brandon, I can't remember if we went over this already. I think we here. did, actually. Okay. His perfect world would be I get pregnant with twins. I don't even know if I have twins in my, my genetics. Boy, girl, done. That would be him. Done so. For me, I just hope I can get pregnant. I hope that I can have a baby. I know I've seen the struggle with people that I don't even want to say, like, I want eight and then struggle having one. So right now, let's shoot for just getting pregnant. Hope I like it. Hope I like being pregnant. (laughs) Hope I like being a mom. Yeah. And then after that, then we evaluate. But I have a feeling I'm going to love it. And I have a feeling that our babies will be cute. Again, knock on wood. They will be. And we're going to want 700. I think Brandon will want 700 too. I think so too. Yeah. Just just make sure you guys are making a hell of a lot of money to provide for these yes. 700 children. And, and that's the thing with and Brandon. And this financial climate. Because that's what he yeah. said. He was like, I just want two kids. It's so expensive. Especially if yes. they're in dance. Oh. In he, ballroom. He's like, he's like, I don't know if they're going to be in dance. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to be a dance mom. However, I will put my kids in dance because of their dad. They have the best coach. The best coach. And if they don't like it, then that's fine. They can do well, softball. You would, I mean, you would save money on coaches because you Brandon right. didn't do it. Exactly That'll my I'll point. Save you some money, but the costumes we just won't talk about that. That's coming out of the side. That's the, the TikTok paycheck. <laughs> the TikTok paycheck. That's pay for those bedazzled yes. tutus over there. Or I'll just learn to do do it myself. So honestly, I could see you putting that under your resume. Hey, you're a go getter. Go I, for it. I hope so. One day, go for Riley it. Riley Ivers Armstrong bedazzler designs. No, put designs at the end. That's what your company is. Oh, you heard it here first. Done. You heard it, heard, you heard it here. Yep. Riley's starting a yep. starting a bedazzled. costume design bedazzled designs. I hey, I did it. I know Epsilon. That's gotta that's, be similar. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's what you should do. You and Brandon should start a costume company. Okay. I love it. I love it. Okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know I did. Yo, I love you. Thank you. I love you so Thanks much for, for having me. And have a safe flight tonight. You're heading Thanks. back to LA. Yes. Yeah. Back to LA. We back go. Back to the craziness. Guys, vote. Vote on Tuesdays. Vote. 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 21523 Brandon 10 times. Love it. And don't forget to take out your trash. Yay. Bye. Bye. Bye.